it makes me want to work on this thing even more. I already stabbed myself, but you know, that's fine. That was my own fault, not the fault of the Escalade. I'm learning. Oh! So today we are back working on the beautiful Escalade once again. And I mean that, I mean beautiful Escalade. I know this thing has been fighting me along the way, but it's really not its fault. A lot of the problems this thing has, remember it's got 154,000 miles on it. And a lot of these repairs, they're just things that fail over the years that the previous owners just didn't take care of. Just something that goes out, they probably didn't bother, didn't really care to look into getting them fixed. The uh, defroster tabs kind of breaking off the window, headlight going out, daytime bulb going out randomly. Got another thing broken. AC stopped working. They just throw cans in to recharge it because it's got a leak somewhere. Another thing that stopped. And that stuff just kind of accumulated over the years until eventually it had the problem with the motor ticking and then they just chucked it away. So all that stuff being wrong for the mileage, it's like, I can't be too mad at it. But uh, recently, just today actually, I put new rear brakes on it and it went incredible. I'm actually probably gonna turn it into a short. I didn't make an actual video on it just because it's, you know, it's just rear brakes. I've done them a million times on my Tahoe on the channel. It really gave me a little boost of confidence to want to keep working on this thing. But look at these brakes. They were in dire need of replacement. The fronts are pretty good. The fronts have at least like half life on them. So I'm going to leave them for a while. You might eventually do um, four pistons on the front though. Like uh, what years is it? like 2014 and up brakes, something like that. Like the newer four piston setups. And look at that. We have some nice rock auto rotors in there. These were only like 45 bucks a pop. They're coated so they don't get all rusted and gross. And yeah, we're still sporting the original caliper. Everything went together and didn't fight me. I actually still can't believe it. So today we're going to, it's gonna be a quick video probably. It's, I'm, you know, I'm confident. It is gonna be a quick video. We are not gonna run into a million problems. You know, I'm confident in this thing now, I'm confident. Yep, I'm confident, I say I'm confident. But yeah, we're gonna get these things stuck back to the window. A lot of people have been saying I could just solder them back onto the glass, so we're gonna try that. I also have some new lift supports for the glass because they're kinda a little weak. The glass doesn't go all the way up like it's supposed to. So I guess we'll close this down and we'll just open the glass up. And I'm gonna pull those tabs out of the connectors. I guess we could probably start with the uh, support struts. See, they're kind of, like it'll, if you do that, it'll stay up, but it should be, it should just kind of shoot up on its own. Also, for anybody wondering, I'm planning on calling the headlight bulb winner very soon. I just want the video, it's moving kind of slow. Some of these videos move slow. So I just want to get, you know, if even a few more people can leave their comments. We actually have a good amount of people already. It makes me want to work on this thing. Even more, I already stabbed myself, but you know, that's fine. That was my own fault, not the fault of the Escalade. I'm learning. Oh! Remember what I said about me working too fast? They tend to mess shit up. Crimp this on here. And that'll keep this side up so we can get the new one over there. Pretty sure, I mean, these are dinky because they're just for the glass, but I don't think you should be able to do it by hand. Now I picked up some some Amazon special stuff like this, you know, I don't care getting it from Amazon. These weren't expensive. I'll put a uh, link to them down below. Easy to access, you know, it's not a, unless it falls in your head, not really a life or death kind of part. There's one, you know what? I'm curious with the other one here. Can I push these in by hand? No, you can't. The other thing you gotta watch out for when you change these things, the, um, I don't wanna mar that up. Let me, I'm just gonna pop this off and hold the glass. When you change these things, sometimes you can break the hinges off the glass. I know this is a GMT 800 problem. I don't know if these have the same issue. But even j just with age, they tend to just kind of fall off. And the, the hinge itself will like come unstuck from the glass. My Tahoe was like that. So uh, when I got it, I think, and I ended up getting a piece of glass just from a junkyard because I didn't feel like having to mess with trying to glue it back on. And we just pull these little clips out. See you later. Boom. 
boom. If you need these things for your truck, it's that simple. Oh yeah, that's got, that'll hit you in the face when it opens up now. A little slow, but definitely goes up on its own. Awesome. Now it is worth mentioning, I tried to do this in the past. When I got my first car, I had a Saturn. I forgot, what, I think I was removing tint from the back window and I broke this off. And I tried that Permatex stuff. You know, the, it comes in a little tiny packet and it's pretty much, it's like a metallic kind of glue that to glue that shit back on. And it worked to stick it to the window. It didn't conduct electricity though. But looking at the reviews on Amazon too, they're not that good for that stuff, for the Permatex stuff. It's hit and miss. So I picked up this stuff, which I'm not gonna be using. Let me try the solder first. This was like 40 bucks also from Amazon, but it got really good reviews for actually gluing those things back on. So if the solder doesn't stick to the window, we'll try this. I'll try my best to line it up with the witness mark. And we're just gonna heat it up, see if it sticks. Oh, something's happening. That might be it. No. Oh, phone cords a stretch. So we don't have a bunch of tension on them. That is it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna test this. I guess I could throw a voltmeter on it. Three volts there, no volts there. You know what, we, let's just do continuity. Duh. Sounds good. Oh, dude, perfect. This is getting, ooh, it's getting hot. Yeah, that's working. Yeah, they're both getting warm. You have continuity across. All right, I'm calling that fix. I mean, I'll let you guys know they pop off again. But no, they're on there for now. The soldering actually works. It appears to be defrosting as it should. That's another thing cross off the list. While we're here, why not? I think I got some flux on the window. I'll tell you one thing, it's gonna be nice being able to look in the rear view and not see those stupid wires hanging around anymore. Just dangling and clanking against the glass. It's gonna be so satisfying when I actually detail this thing. Nice. One thing I think I'm gonna do though, I wanna order is, um, I wanna get lift gate struts too. Cause I keep hitting my head on this stupid thing. And these don't have an adjustment. Like newer cars, you can adjust how high you want it. This doesn't. And it's right at the point where it sucks. It's like I have to duck, especially, especially if I'm like parked kind of uphill. It's very annoying. However, if I take it and just kind of like the lift struts just lost some charge. If I hold it up there, at least on level ground, I could clear it. And those are the same procedure for the glass, you know, easy enough to replace. It'll also help the motor out a little bit, take some of the weight off of the hatch, but that's awesome. Another thing taken care of. All right, well, that's it. Lift gate glass supports.
taken care of. Rear defroster taken care of. Honestly, I couldn't tell you what we we're going to be working on next because I'm actually, I'm doing like multiple videos today. Doing this, I'm probably going to be doing the, what time is it? Okay, maybe I'm not. I might try to do the Bluetooth today. Possibly bring the Tahoe in here. I don't know. But we're making progress. Next video, we'll uh, continue kind of chugging away on it.